What's up everyone, it's 123 Stealth Bomb here, and I am bringing you another tutorial on the Men of War Assault Squad Editor. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make Endless Waves. Uh, endless Waves are very easy to learn, um, but they can be a pain if they're not done correctly or anything like that. And it's quite repetitive, I'll admit it. It is kind of repetitive, and it's, you know, it's kind of boring. So, what we're going to do is... The first thing in order to make a battle, an uh, endless battle, is you gotta spawn troops, obviously. So, I'm gonna go ahead and spawn some troops. And the first squad I put down is just a mixture of riflemen and SMG. This will be our first squad. Okay, I also spawned, I will also spawn some tank men and put them into the armored car I spawned in like a second and as well as a medium tank panzer 3 i also copied that other squad i made and um i made two of them so there'll be two squads attacking as well just like that um so now i'm going to spawn the panzer 3 that'll be the other part of the attacking force And um, go to F2, uh, go to F1 mode, yeah, put boy. the guys inside. Okay. So now, once you've completed all, placing all your troops, we can now begin with um, the basic. Now, if you, one thing before I go ahead, if um, please know how to use waypoints. If you don't know how to use waypoints, Please watch my video. I do have a video on how to make waypoints, and it shows you everything about triggers, a little bit about waypoints and uh, and zones, and as well as triggers. So please watch that if you don't know how to do them, because I do expect you to know it on this video. So now what we're gonna do is select your. F I'm gonna select my first squad and give it the tags. Um, so in my case, I named it German Soldier One. And as well as hidden. Now the hidden uh, tag makes it so when you press start, they are not there. They are physically not there. Um, they are completely hidden from view. Um, if you don't put that, that means they'll just be there like the way I left them. So now I'm, I uh, gave the tags to the second squad. Now I'm going to give tags to the armored car. well as put it hidden and I'll give tags to the Panzer 3 okay just move them over okay so now once you completed that with the tags. Now we're going to make our waypoints. Um, I'm going to make waypoints for the first squad I made, so I'm just going to name it German 1. And uh, again, if you do not know how to use them, I'm not going to go over it again, so please watch it on my other video if you don't know how to use them correctly. I'll give you a full explanation on uh, the you know waypoints and all that other stuff. Now, when you're making endless waves, it does not matter how many waypoints you use. I, for some reason, I just tended to put them somewhat close together. I don't know why. It does not matter. It really doesn't. It does not matter how many there are. I just, I don't know why I was doing that. But you can if you want to. Now, we're going to do the second squad. Just give them waypoints. Now I'm going to give waypoints to the armored car, S SDKFZ-222. Put a bunch of waypoints there. Okay. Put some right 
there. And then finally, we're going to add in the last waypoint set, which is for the Panzer III tank. And I'm going to put this waypoint right on the main road. Um, so it's like the main, like, you know, center unit. Okay. So now once you complete all your waypoints, uh, the next thing you're going to do is we're going to add in zones. Now, if you don't add in the zone, that means when you script it all and you don't add in the zone at all, it will, the trigger just won't work properly. The units won't spawn or the units will spawn in a random spot. I've gotten that a few times. So make sure to spawn a zone. Circle or poly, but poly works better since you can form it to any shape you want, like here, like shown. You can use circle if you want, if you wanted to put them in an enclosed area, but again, I recommend poly, but it's up to you on how you make your battle. Okay. Um, you don't have to extend the borders too far, but just make them big enough. Now we're going to make the tr our first trigger. We're going to do it for the German infantry squad. Okay. First thing you're going to do is you're going to right click where it says condition and look for entities. Double click that. Double click entities. Left, yeah. Left click double it. And another menu will pop up. It'll say entities. Look for tag and name it the tag that you gave that squad. Um, uh, the state now put not dead. If you put anything else besides not dead, then it won't work. Put the zone that you want to put them as, and the count has to be less than. Others, the others, honestly, I don't know what they're used for. Less than only seems to work because I've tried all the other ones. They, you know, they just don't work that well. And then the count, the I'm sorry, the value is how many units are in there. So again, there's ten guys. Now we're gonna go to commands. Uh, right, uh, right click where it says commands. Hit add and look for act of the waypoint. Go to where it says selector and then find tag. Give it the tag itself. Hit OK. And then give it the waypoint that you gave it. So for the squad, uh, in my case, it was zero. This is the waypoint they're going to start at when uh, the trigger is set. Hit check off clone. And so that means they'll constantly spawn. And their approach will be teleport and rotate. So they'll teleport to that position at, you know, waypoint zero. And they'll rotate. Now next, you're going to add in the actor um, the actor state. Now this is an optional command. You don't have to add this one in, but I do recommend it. Now the reason why is because actor state is a command that gives properties to that unit. Like say, is it under player control or under AI control? Are they free to move or are they not free to move? Uh, can they retreat? Can they not retreat? Um, what's their speed? You know, all that stuff. It's just traits. You don't have to add in this one, but it is kind of recommended. And like speed, I put assault so they will keep running until they see the enemy, and regardless of their stamina. And for the infantry, I also put where it says no retreat, and I put that on. That means they will never retreat regardless on how many losses they take. Okay? Um, and the other ones are just, you know, other stats as well. Now you're going to go where, uh, again, hit add, and look for delay. Now this means... How long will it take for the next squad to spawn? So in my case, I put 30. So that means the first squad will spawn as soon as it starts, and then in 30 seconds, they'll spawn again. And then your last trigger is going to be called trigger. Um, just where it says name, select the name that you gave the trigger, which is German M1 in my case. And where, and where it says on, do not check that off. For some reason, if you check that off, that means... Um, it, the trigger just won't work. I think it turns it off. I don't know why, but it just does. So keep where it says off. That means it's on. I know it's a little confusing, but that's how it is. So now, um, just to show you that this works properly, I, um, I'm going to test it out. As you can see, they're, you know, they're all huddled together, running, charging. Um, but as you can see, they're following the waypoints correctly as I set them up. And in 30 seconds, remember, since my delay is 30, in 30 seconds, you'll see another squad spawn. 
However, this squad will still be going. Now, again, you know, the Russians are just going to completely annihilate these guys, but it's just for uh, demonstration use. And as you can see, the, another squad spawned. And it'll keep spawning until you do a, another waypoint, I mean, another trigger to add it so, you know, they don't, um, you know, they don't spawn anymore. But that's a little complicated, and I'll do a video on that later on. Okay, and now I'm just gonna hit finish so we can get back. Now, um, we're gonna do the second squad, but since I didn't want to make this video too long, since it's already long, it's already long as it is, what I did was I s cut out the second squad. I scripted the second squad because all it is is the exact same thing as the first one. So, if you need to, just go back, if you need to rewind it or whatever, to see the first squad and how it's done, because the second one is exactly the same, and that's why I cut it out. The only reason why I didn't cut out the vehicle and the tank, it's because they're slightly different in their uh, triggers. So now we're going to do the armored car. And as usual, you're going to right click where it says condition and go to entities. Uh, give them their tag. Um, now this, uh, give them their zone. And this time you're going to, instead of putting not dead, you're going to put operable. That means it's in operation, it's usable, okay? Uh, the count is the less than sign, and the value will be one because there's only one armored car. Go to uh, commands, and we're gonna go to, now, active state. As you can see, I did mess up here, but I did, there is a way to um, correct it. Now, the, what I'm talking about is, if you add in a trigger before another trigger, in like a not not in order then the trigger just in in general won't work so you have to put everything in order now I did this on purpose to show you how to fix it instead of deleting everything to redo the whole entire trigger there is an easy way to fix it so they are in order so now I'm gonna add in active the waypoint and I'm just gonna do the regular trigger give them it, its tag um, it's waypoint, um, check off clone, and as well as approach, teleporting, and rotating. Um, this is how to fix that. Now, you want to left click it, left click the trigger that you want, and hold alt, and then use the up or down arrow keys, and it'll move it in the direction. So now, after the waypoint comes before actor state. So now that means the trigger will function pop properly and um you know it'll work you know just fine now as you can see as you can see um why i was telling you in the beginning of the video while it gets really repetitive and boring because it really is the same for everything you do vehicles and tanks do have slight differences but and you know against the infantry but not really much as you can see it's very much the same thing you're just pointing and clicking and checking off whatever. Um, and it gets quite boring. But in, a, in the end, it is worth it because then you get to see epic battles. But, I mean, mine's not that epic. But I could have gone epic, but, you know, it would have took a lot longer. So now we're on our tank right now. And I'm just doing the act at the waypoint. Going to select waypoint again. What? you know, what the tank is going to spawn at, check off clone, so that means it, you know, keeps spawning, and then teleport and rotate. Again, you want to do the active state. You can see, again, like, it just, it's the same thing over and over. And it gets, since if you do it so many times, it'll get into your head that, you know, oh, th you know, I got to do this and I got to do that. Trust me, it's very easy, very easy to learn. It's just knowing how to learn it. Okay, and again, add in a delay. I added in 60 for this uh, section. And then for trigger, you're gonna, um, I selected German tank for its name. And we're finally done. Now I finally test it out. And as you could see, um, 
you see the infantry squad from the beginning the armored vehicle and the tank now if you're wondering where's that other infantry squad well i turned it off I, you can turn off triggers so they don't work i did turn it off so just so you can see one of each but just to show you to get the idea of it and that armored car gets completely annihilated now another thing you can do that i did not do in this video if you say if you didn't want that armored car to go ahead and you know get killed there is a way so pretty much the infantry vehicle and tank go at the same time the, the way to do that is add in a delay before the act of the waypoint if you add in a delay before act of the waypoint that means it'll wait when you as soon as you press star it'll wait a couple seconds to what you said it at and then it'll spawn okay uh, it's a little it sounds confusing but it isn't it means it's just saying that it waits before it spawns in the beginning of the game and that's really much it um so i guys i hope you guys enjoyed um and i'll you know i'll be posting a lot more videos now since you know everything's up and functional and um if you guys have any questions comments or s concerns or anything in that matter please leave a message on my channel down below on the video or private message me for any purpose or reason or anything any questions you have on the editor and i will try to help you out with the best of my ability okay so um my next video will probably be on reinforcements so i think you guys will be liking that one so guys i hope you enjoy and i will see you guys later